Let's get out of drums and let's pop into bass land. Let's get a bass sound happening. All right, obviously we can't hear anything. Um, first thing I'm gonna do I mean, it's a bass DI. It needs to be really aggressive. So I like to split my bass because I feel like it sounds better and it's a little bit more aggressive. Um, I'm making sure these are both routed. And there's a little bit of a filtering trick that I like to do. And you gotta kind of experiment with your low end when you do this. But again, we don't have a kick drum pick, mix, or sorry, a kick drum selected yet. So I'm just gonna grab an EQ. I mean, you can use any EQ. I'm gonna be using Q2, which is, in my opinion is the ugliest looking EQ ever made and one of my least favorite to use, but there's only two bands and it's relatively simple and straightforward. So for some reason I keep using it. I'm going to filter at 250 for now. As I know, he goes up on the bass and has some higher octave stuff. And then I'm just gonna grab like 50 Hertz and then we'll putz around with this a little bit later. Um, I'm gonna copy this over to the dirt track and I'm gonna move these filters. I'll keep the other one open so you can see what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I'm gonna go over the dirt track and I'm gonna slide this up to, let's just say 5,000 and eight, not 8,000, 800. And I'm gonna leave the filter slopes where they are. So now my bass is split, but the problem is you can't hear it. So let's get some L1 action because you know, I like to joke about this setting, but I'm gonna do it because it's great. Um, there's a lot of movement on a sound like this, so for me, I really want my bass to just be like pinned. It's not gonna move unless I tell it to move, and I'm just gonna do this. So as you can see, those meters aren't moving at all. Um, as a general rule of thumb, I like a little bit of distortion. So it doesn't matter what distortion you use. You can use any amp sim simulator just to show you, like let's grab Steinberg amp sim, just like the most generic. I mean, that already, I don't know, I'm kind of stoked on that. <laughs> I mean, they can get a little mass here. Me. And there's a little bit of a 2K honk in there that's kind of irritating. I hate it. Get it out of there. But again, these are just micro EQ moves. Like in context, it's nearly not that big of a deal. Like we'll we'll go through and we'll actually make stuff happen. But again, right now it's about just kind of getting some basic gain structuring so we can set up the mastering chain. Make sure we're not pumping any compressors and then we really like start mixing. 